This is Elliot and Jose coming to you from Dreamland Comics in Schaumburg, Illinois, here on CCW TV. Uh, the last time we talked about this book, uh, we really enjoyed it. And uh, we're going to talk about it again. And uh, you know one, one thing that kind of surprised me? The lack of Batman in it. Um, I don't know if... Well, that's... It, yeah, it, it, Batman hasn't been in every one. But not in every one? Right. Okay. It's not like the old Brave and the Bold where Batman used to be in the I movie. see. Yeah. Brave and the Bold, number 28 by J. Michael Straczynski and Jesus Saez. The last issue teamed Batman with Dial H for Hero. And we talked about, you know, what a really well done, uh, one and done that mm -hmm. issue was. How it told that story so well. Um, we ha it, it, it really it got a lot of conversation going about it. Which Batman was it? Was it the Dick Grayson Batman? Was it the uh, Batman Year One Batman? You know, all those different things. Mm -hmm. This book equally, I think, is going to stir up a lot of uh, conversation and debate. Teaming the Flash and Black Hawk. Um, you know... I got to give Straczynski a lot of credit for t taking really complex concepts and making them just so simple and yeah. setting them up so well that even, you know, uh, the non-techno nerd can get it. So what, what happens here? Uh, the Flash is in Belgium helping some scientists with an experiment. What's the experiment essentially? Uh, track a beam, uh, a laser beam. Track a beam of light. You're the Flash. You can run as fast as the, the, mm -hmm. the speed of light. Track it for us so we can see how light reacts. You know, and in one page, right here, yeah, the setup. Page. One page, he sets up that incredibly. I mean, it's a really complex idea, but he sets it up, bam, just like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and then after that, um, and by issue by page number three. Uh, to use a to use a, a a pun, the story is off and running. I mean, it's going. Straczynski doesn't waste any time setting up the story, and by page, you know, by the time the the, the whole opening sequence is up, bam, we have the Flash in his situation. So, you know, I'm not giving away too much. You know, you know, it's the Flash and Blackhawk. Um, the Flash ends up running back in time mm -hmm. to World War II. Of course, it started in Belgium, so. Where is the Flash? Well, he's in France with the, and um, in the in, in the French in the European theater and uh, approaching around the time of the Battle of the Bulge. And um, bam, you go from there. And then what is the next thing that really that worked for me? Uh, well, the Flash has an accident. Um, yeah. He breaks his leg. So if you're the Flash and you can't run anymore. You're kind of, you know, you're kind of out of it as far as being able to use your superpowers to sway things in one direction or the other. And it's just done so cleverly and really, to me, so convincingly. Some write, you know, some readers would say, oh, come on. he, You know, the way it was set up, it, it worked for no, me. And, really and, I, and I like me. the fact that you take away the superpower to the hero and then you see... If Barry Allen can still be a hero, still be a hero, and man, that, I cannot tell you that last Straczynski, uh Brave and the Bold. I was really surprised about how good it was. Like I read and I read this, and I'm like, man, it's like two for two, two for two. Like, it's just it just, again, just it hits all of the highlights of like the last one. It's got good art, really good storytelling. It's a one and done, and it's an emotional story. Yes. You get emotionally invested in the story. Yes. It's like, I don't know if I've ever read more than maybe two or three comics ever with, with Blackhawk and, and, and mm -hmm. the Blackhawks in it. But, man, it's like, it does, that doesn't even matter. To me, and, and what I really liked is, I remember, I read Blackhawk as a kid. I really loved the Black, the old Blackhawk books. And, I mean, I, I read the Howard Chaikin Blackhawk when he, when he did it. And seeing these characters again back in their original incarnation... You know, from World War Two was really fun for me. I mean, it's really first I got Dial H for Hero, which I read, you know, when I was young, and then Blackhawk when I was young. Um, these these have been a real treat to see this. And what goes? I mean, as Straczynski explored what being a hero is like in the last issue, same thing here. And as I was reading this book, I was like, wow. I kept flashing back to the 
to the discussions and just downright arguments we had about the way superheroes acted in Secret Invasion. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yes. And and we had all these discussions on the boards about how heroes should be during, you know, in a quote-unquote war. And, you know, Straczynski explores those themes right here, again, in a one-and-done yeah. issue, and gives you, I thought, what was really an emotional payoff to it. Because... Uh, and it's Barry Allen too. There was no. Uh, I, I was wondering for. A yeah, while I was there. wondering too because they weren't showing like the the uh, the pupils of the eyes because right. you couldn't. So because obviously the big difference I learned over the years was Barry Allen had blue eyes and Wally West and, you know had, right. had brown I think and and when he's the Flash they don't show you the color right. of his of his eyes but then he takes off his mask and, and he, you can tell it's and Barry actually, Allen and he does say yeah. that he's Barry Allen. And I think it did. It, it was suitable that it was Barry Allen to me, as opposed. Although you could have made it the Wally West Flash too. You could have, right? But but to me, I think the, the, the Barry Allen works here because I can see Barry Allen more. Well, hell, just being a World War Two type guy because he and Jay Garrick were so so right. Close. And, and when he tells Blackhawk that he's the Flash, he's like, "You're not the Flash." Yeah. That, that the Flash. And, and it made and I think it worked better too because he is. The next Flash after Jay Garrick, he's not wouldn't be Wally West. He wouldn't be right. like one person removed from it. Right. So it works that he is taken over for Jay Garrick, and that's why he's here. And it's of course during the time when you know the the he goes back in time during the, the Justice Society days. Uh, but you know, Justice Society, for reasons explained in the Golden Age, um, uh, the that great James Robinson and Paul Smith miniseries. Um, they the, just the JSA couldn't be right in the thick of things. Mm -hmm. So to see, I was I kept waiting for something to happen, kind of with that. But Straczynski, again, wanting to keep it a one and done, expertly just plays around and keeps things, you know, pretty um, pretty simple, and makes it a, a story about Barry Allen having to struggle with what does it mean to be a hero during wartime? Yeah. Because while you're in war, the rules kind of change. And there's even a bit where um, the Germans are attacking the Blackhawks. They're like kind of pinned in this um, in in this um, in like one of their cottage. safe houses, like yeah. a cottage. You're pinned in, and Barry's like, you know, I, I can't kill these people. Right. So he's, he's like, he, Blackhawk gives him a gun. Gives him says, a gun, right? And says, okay, get it. You know, well, not Blackhawk. One of the, the other of the, soldiers. Because right. Blackhawk doesn't quite trust him yet. Right. So, but he goes. No, the other that's right. Says, that's right. This is what yeah. He says here, you take this, and then Barry's got the gun, but he knows as long as he's the Flash, he can't, he can't kill. He's made a vow not to kill. As long as he's in kill. the costume. As long as he's yes in the Flash uniform. Yeah. So, so he, as you do is like since they're in this broken down, this run down cottage, why they're why the Black Hawk and the Germans are having the Black Hawks and the Germans are having like a firefight. He takes a bunch of bricks. Yeah, and. And usually against super, super speed, speed he yeah, yeah, launches knock, them into the to air. To knock all the, the, the Germans out. And, you're, and, you're, and he's a, has a smile on his face. He's all happy with them. Yeah, like he's like, yeah, I averted that. And and another writer probably, I mean, some writers would have said, would have had the Black Hawks going, hey, good move, you know, right. wow, we never thought of that. In this case here. And like right there, next panel, man. He's yeah, Black Hawks right in his face saying, what, what kind of game are you playing? Which really, I mean, what I like, and this is what I liked here, Straczynski doesn't cheat. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is a, a writer that is not afraid to take on the realities of war and, and having a character in here and saying, you know what, you know, you don't get an out. You don't get an out in deciding whether you're going to play by the rules of war or not. Down to the point where, you know, even Blackhawk says, look, if you're not going to shoot somebody, I'll shoot you myself. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and you believe it. You really do believe it. And um, this is a really, uh, again, it was so well written. And I and I can't say enough, again, about the artwork here. Yeah. Jesus Saez has really, really come into his own on this title. I mean, he, the storytelling is solid. The artwork is just gorgeous. It's consistent all the way through. Um, this... He, the expressions that he catches on the characters' faces, you know, this to me is really, I, I don't know how this book is doing as far as sales goes, mm -hmm. but it's such a great quality book that I really do hope that yeah. people are catching on to and enjoying. 
another book, even considering the subject matter, considering that there is violence in this book, and it deals with the issue of war, this is a book that I would, I would, I could easily give to a younger reader. I do, I would not have an issue with giving it to a younger reader because it handles the 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 part, uh, you know, the the issue of life and death and 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 life and death in combat so maturely and it's done so well there, you know. I'm I gotta say, Brave and the Bold, it's it's probably the best that it's been since the book launched. Yeah, in uh, this is probably uh, these last two issues uh, have probably a couple of the best comics that I've read all year. Uh, I don't want to. If you guys do pick this up, I, I recommend you picking this up. But there is a scene in here, um, this scene right here, right? So, so you know, um, where Barry is in his costume and he has to decide what he's going to do. Uh -huh. And this, there's just a scene in here where he wants to join. I, I see. I, I'm, I'm having trouble explaining it because I don't want to give it away. But it is a very emotional scene. Yeah. And in the in the caption and dialogue that Straczynski has going along with it, it's just perfect. It is. It, it, it's perfect. And back to the storytelling again. There, this is such an emotional moment, and um, Sai is just he captures it perfectly. And you know, he, he he doesn't need a whole lot of fancy camera angles. He doesn't need to. You know, the colorist doesn't need to make these. These deep, you know, brooding shadows or anything. No, it just works. Mm -hmm. And then, bam, uh, just as quickly as a story starts, Straczynski, without any real sort of, of gimmick or anything, is able to just bring it to its conclusion mm -hmm. really nicely. And, bam, it's over. In an age where decompression is taking stories and and making you deal with having to read, you know, three, four, five issues to get an entire arc to get a satisfying conclusion, Straczynski has done it twice in one and done issues, yes. and it's just really, I gotta say, I appreciate that a lot as a reader. Yeah, I and mean, you know what? Like I said, you, even if you're not, and I'm not a big fan of Barry Allen at all. But this this flash, uh, I mean, just the story, just it works. It, yes. it, the storytelling itself, it doesn't even matter if you're a fan of the characters. Just read it. It's a great one and done comic. It's. I wish. I really wish. I think we said this last time. I just wish that more comics would be like this. Yeah. It, 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 he does make it look simple. Uh huh. And it's like again, yeah, it's, and you don't have to know a whole lot about the characters to read it. I mean, if you know about them, it's a bit of a bonus for you. You uh, you know their their um their backgrounds, but it's the Flash. He runs fast. The Blackhawks, they're soldiers during World War II who wear, you know, these cool outfits. Although, I wanted to see their planes. We never got to see their planes. Yeah. So, that was the only thing. But you got to see them in uniform, which is cool. That's all you really need to know. And it tells a great story. It tells a great story. So, And it, it even tells a better st war story than fucking War Heroes has been doing. Oh, for, like, God. Yeah, I mean, no. Right. I mean, compare yeah. the two. It's yeah, like, you're absolutely it's right. ridiculous. Absolutely right. So, so well, so far it looks like you know Marvel's loss was DC's gain, like oh, big, big time, time. So. big time. And I think it's because they're kind of DC's also letting Straczynski do his thing, they're just letting him do his thing, which is cool, which is smart. All right, when we come back, we'll have another DC book, which has been actually my favorite of the Blackest Night tie-ins. I think you guys know what it is. If you don't, you'll find out next. See you then. <laughs> 